Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's short video today. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today I wanted to kind of piggyback on the last video. That I made regarding the evil mother. Allegedly. Allegedly. Tiffany Lucas. But in that video. I referenced Susan Smith. And the reason was. Is Susan Smith and Cold Blood deleted her children from planet Earth? And pretending an innocent fictional non-existent person did it? And she did all of this simply because she wanted to be with another man. While she was married. But the other man didn't want to have children. So instead of giving her children to the father, she deleted her children in a cruel and evil way. From planet Earth. And I believe, though mental illness was probably some sort of factor with Tiffany Lucas, I also believe that there is a high likelihood she felt like she was missing out on a more fun life. Because now we are in the world of social media. And where women get flown out to see the rich and powerful. And that get paid to do you know what. And sadly many women, even most average or normal women, they fantasize about such a life, as it's pushed to be empowering, and glamorous. And I believe, and I could be wrong, but I believe when they dig more into this Tiffany Lucas case, they will likely find that she did what she did, allegedly, ending the lives of her children was more than likely because she wanted to do other things with her life. And instead of giving up her children, she deleted them from planet Earth. But there was a wonderful comment on the last video regarding the fact that I brought up Susan Smith. And thank you for leaving the comment. And it was basically stating that. Again Susan could have given up her children to the father. And that she slowly watched the car sink into the water and there was plenty of time to save them. First off thank you for sharing your thoughts. I really appreciate you. And to add to it. It looks like as of now. She will be up for parole in a year. And they just talked with the prosecutor in her case. And he mentioned that she's already has lots of men offering her a place to stay and that they want to marry her. But a couple of things that he said that were important. That when she was still being seen as a victim. And she was in the car with the officers. And driving around looking for her children. She was flirting with the officers. And while her children were at the bottom of a lake. She was telling the officers. She would rather be spending her time at the beach. All the while flirting with them. You see. Narcissists see you and I and even their own children as disposable. Just like an old shoe they no longer need or have use for. The fact is Susan Smith looked like a sweet conservatively dressed mother. Yet she was anything but. She had probably manipulated people every day of her life since she was quite young. And just like I've said. The more these evil beings are able to get away with a small manipulation here and a small manipulation there. They get bolder and bolder. To the point what they think or convince themselves they can get away with becomes delusional and I believe that's why eventually they get caught. They talk themselves into believing it will just be like all the other times. They blame this person or that person for what they did. And likely she has blamed real people in the past. Even if it was for someone stealing something off of the teacher's desk in school. I'm pretty sure she knew how to set people up. And she thought this would be no different. But the other thing the prosecutor said that was important. Was that he is recommending she stay locked up. And so is her ex-husband. Simply because the prosecutor said if someone was arrested on the fictional character she created. Likely. 
he would have gotten deletion from planet Earth as a sentence. And if the father of the children, her at that time husband, he also would have gotten deletion from planet Earth as a sentence. Yet, she gets life with the ability to be paroled. And meanwhile in prison, she's been hooking up with guards and using substances. And having tons of pen pals wanting to marry her and likely sending her money. Why? Well because we live in a society still. That says. A mother can do no wrong. Even when she does. Even when she ends the lives of her own children. And this is one component. Yet a big component why narcissistic abuse goes on and on and on. Because when you look like this. No one would believe anything negative to the fact she doesn't love her children and her children are being mistreated. Because let's say she never ended the lives of her children. And she covertly and ambiently abused her children. Narcissistically. I bet you she would have been successful at convincing everyone that her children were bad kids and that everything in the house as far as their problems were concerned. Were all the fault of the children. And this is how and why children grow up with all the problems they do. Remember one of the main superpowers of the narcissists is blaming others for things they have done or are doing. Even if it's their children. I want you to let it sink in. This innocent looking housewife that looks like she would be leading Bible study at church. Strapped her children into a car. And let the car sink slowly as she watched. Also she could ditch her husband and probably try to take his money too. Just so she could be with some random guy. When people think they know evil. They really don't. They really don't. Because this woman and others like her and men too. Are very much capable of disposing of you like you were nothing. No matter if that is just walking out of your life as if the time you spent with them meant nothing. Or putting things they shouldn't put in your coffee. Tea or protein shake. Narcissists are narcissists. And I completely understand why all the people that are surrounding this case are trying to keep her locked up. And to the people that want to offer her a place to stay. All I can say to them is good luck. Good luck. Well that's all I have for today. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.